I didn't hit any. Well, we're out here this morning. Uh, gonna work on the uh, fascia on the front and the back of the garage first, and then we'll move over to the front of the house. Uh, it is windy today, so I'm gonna be using the GoPro because I'm gonna be up on the ladder, so there may be some time lapse because of the wind noise, but try to film with the bigger camera as much as I can uh, and explain it, but it's just a two by six across, and then um, we'll overhang it on the edge the same way we did the purlins. And then once we get all the fascia, the front fascia on, we can do the uh, fascia up the sides, which we'll have to build. So uh, I got a board over here. You can see right there. So it's just a two by six screwed into the, uh, screwed into the truss. I'm gonna use that to hold this big two by six because this one's at 18, 18 foot or 16 foot, whatever it is, it's too hard to hold by myself. So that'll just hold it up there and then I can work my way down the line and just move that um, as I need it. So get up there on the ladder and pull up this first two by six and we'll get started. All right, so got everything I need up here now. Um, I did cut off this last purlin that we installed because it was too close to the edge. So as we're doing the fascia, we'll have to reinstall this as well. Okay, got the two by six up here. Now, try to work this two by four down. And. So this two by six, essentially, is supposed to be flush with the bottom of the truss. And then when you put this on there, it's supposed to be dead even. Like that. So, what I'm gonna do first is get this two by four installed. And then when that's installed where it needs to be, then it'll be easier to uh, put the two by six. So we'll just do this one two by four and kind of work our way down as we go. Okay, we got this uh, purlin screwed in. Now this two by six. butted up next to the truss and then as you can see here it'll go up to where it's flush here and then that will put it even with the bottom of the truss so let me fasten this and then I can show you guys what it looks like.
am using screws here because it's easier to move it around if I need to. Versus if I get nails in here, once they're in, it's a pain in the butt to get them out. So we're even there. We're good here. But what I will use the nail gun for is putting these purlins back in. It does have one screw in it, so that nail will just be a little bit extra to hold it. So you can see here, this side needs to come down a little bit to get it flush. So we can just use the hammer with a screw. And that can get us where we need to go. Working off a lift would be a heck of a lot easier. Good to go. So now just work our way across. And then we got two more trusses and then this one, this first one, does not. Sorry, it just got real windy. Uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna end on a truss, so we'll, uh, I'll show you how I'm gonna uh, fix that issue without having to cut these boards down because I don't want, I just want one solid uh, fascia. I don't want to cut anything and we'll save wood that way too. broke out the magnetic bit the game changer only I did this from the start get this other two by four and then I'll show you. I got some overhang here. No, we'll do that one. All right, we got this two by six up here. Let's see if I can turn you guys around. So you can see we overhung this truss a little bit. All I'm gonna do is take this two by six block and stick it back here behind. 
and then that will give us a surface to screw to. Then we can take our two by six and then butt it right up next to this other one. I only got one screw in right now because we want it all to sit flush. And we don't want it to overhang at all because that'll mess up the trim. Now, take our square, you can see we are good to go. So now I'll go ahead and screw a couple more in. I apologize ahead of time. I think I already did once, but for the wind noise. If anybody has a good uh, external microphone option for a GoPro. I'm all ears. Alright, so I'm going to work my way across. Uh, one, two, three, four six trusses left uh, and then we got to go over to the house it's supposed to rain tomorrow and the front of the house is uh, where it gets real muddy so I don't feel like putting the ladder in the mud so I'm trying to get that one done today which shouldn't be too hard uh, it should go fairly quick just have to cut around for the porch and then we can go to the back and the back's not as bad uh, the back of the house needs nothing because there's a porch overhang the whole 64 feet so we just have the back of the garage uh, so it should be pretty quick and then uh, we'll work on the end walls so i'll set this up on time lapse we'll knock out this front real quick and we'll move on <laughs> So we are done with the front of the garage. Got a little break in the wind, but it's nice and straight. It's boxed in. So um, I might move to the front of the house. Uh, try to get that knocked out. I got like quite a bit of daylight, but I don't want to run out here. so. We'll get over here. Um, that last purlin is already there on the house. So we should just be able to run across with the fascia and not need to add that purlin, which should speed things up a little bit. All right, got a different mount on the big camera. Hopefully that'll help with some of the wind noise, but we'll throw up this first one. Uh, we got one, two, a partial, and then one to the end because of where the porch is. So I'm gonna mark this one at 10 and a half. Uh, that's our overhang. Cause we're gonna have one foot overhangs. So, ugh, it's still muddy there. Um, so our board coming down the side will meet up with that. Our 
uh, basically coming down the side. So that should line up right with the edge of the truss and it should make it easier when we go to cut all that. That didn't work. Still a little soft in some areas up here. We'll try that. Safety third. Well, I got the front of the house done. I didn't have film in it. It was super windy. The camera fell over at one point, so I just decided not to film. Uh, I do have to cut right there. One, two, three, four. At the fourth truss in, because that's the um, start of the porch. And then it skips three trusses, and then it picks up again. So um, it's just a two by six fascia. It goes all the way across. I didn't get the back of the garage yet. I'll end up getting that um, tomorrow, but we're supposed to get more rain tonight. I don't know, it said a quarter of an inch and now it says an inch, so who knows how much we're gonna get, but it'll turn things into a mess again out here, so I'm glad I got the front done so I don't have to deal with that. Uh, but we'll pick this back up in the morning. Well, we're out here again this morning. Uh, it's still a little bit windy. We got about uh, six tenths of an inch of rain last night, which is of course is uh, wonderful because we need it right uh, and we got some equipment delivered this morning that you'll see in another video uh, for another project and it seems like every time we get equipment delivered um, it rains so we're gonna work on this uh, the back here uh, fish board I got the block in over there so start uh, putting up our two by six board. All right, got the first two on. See, nice and straight here. So we'll work our way down uh, the next couple and keep going. Pretty easy, much of the same as yesterday, uh, nothing different. Uh, I'm gonna try to, uh, supposed, sun's supposed to come out here, so I'm gonna try to get up to do the uh, to work on the fascia um, on the front where the house overhangs the garage. Uh, that'll be the easiest where I don't need to set up a ladder, I can just kind of crawl up the purlins. So I'm gonna work on that one next, and then I'll probably go to the other side of the garage. And then that side of the house is the muddiest, 
So I'm going to do that one last when things hopefully dry out. All right, back of the garage is done. All the way across, some of those boards were uh, a little warped, so it was uh, it's a little bit of a challenge, but got that done. Uh, we're gonna move to the front of the house now and work on that. Uh, work on the house, the front half of the house where it overhangs the garage because there's nothing on this side because the uh, roof lines are the same. So we'll move up there and we'll have to cut the purlins and then start putting on the, uh, the fascia. All right, well, I'm up here doing this uh, soffit on the, between the garage and the house and it's starting to sprinkle and it's getting really windy. So I think I'm gonna get down, but I'll show you what I got done so far. So it's hard to film up here by myself doing this and I might wait to do the sides until after I get some sheathing on, it might be easier, but I just have this here and then we got this cut for the ridge got that all the way down. I do have to fasten it down there so it does bow a little bit. I don't know if that picks up on camera. But it's all blocked out. You can see I did the block the same way as I did on the front fascia. Uh, so just a little tough up here because having to walk on the purlin. So. All right, trying to finish these soffits and fascia boards today. Uh, that's my goal. So um, you can see up there, we just have that the last board that dies into the um, the garage roof line, which I'm going to wait on because um, I want to put my sheathing across first and then have that fascia die into the sheathing. I don't want to try to have to cut sheathing around that fascia board. So that one will have to wait. Um, let's see if I can show it a little bit better under here. I got the piece cut, but I don't want to install it yet. So it'll go from the ridge there down to the garage purlin, but I want to run my sheathing all the way to the house truss. So I don't want to put that on yet. So I'm going to attempt to do the garage end wall today. Um, hopefully I can get it done working by myself. Uh, Tina came down with something a few days ago, so she's been uh, under the weather for the last, I don't know, four days or so. Um, but she's on the mend now, I think. So I'm gonna to try to get, as you can see, this done. Um, both sides, all the way down. Cause then I can start my sheathing here and work, work my way down um, towards the house. And then go across the house. And then um, I can do the house uh, soffits afterwards or later. Um, Tina can help me with that. But um, the more I can get done now, the better. So I'll pull out, pull out all the tools and then we'll get, get the show on the road. I got my boards cut down um, and I got my fascia board ready. And I got the angle cut on it. So, and then attempt to screw it in.
righty. Let's see if my measurements are good or not. So I'll cut that one and then we'll check and see if my measurements are good. So I got these cut and my angle is pretty good. It's off a little bit, uh, but with a sheathing on top, it'll be, it'll work out. So I get the first one fastened in. At least just to hold it. We'll redo this because it's off a little bit. You can see it's off down there, but it'll hold it. Um, we're good up here. Like I said, my angle's off just a touch, but the plywood will uh, fix that. And then also too, it's getting covered by metal on the outside. So it's still touching. It's just not touching perfect at the top. I think my angle was correct. That is when I made this cut, because uh, I overhung the first one a little bit too much. I just kind of messed up a little bit, but it'll all work out in the end. All right, the hard part is done. Um, now it should be a little bit easier. So I'll cut the rest of these down this side. Um, since I'm already working over here, I'm just gonna run down this side and then we'll go to the back side, get that done. And then the facial boards will be ready. Um, and I'm going to uh, start doing sheathing after that. So I'm gonna wait on the other side just because I could do it, um, but the other side's higher up by, oh, I don't know, four feet. So it's just a little sketchy on the ladder. We're trying to bring everything up, and then I'll wait until Tina's feeling better, and then we'll knock out that side, and it'll be, it'll be nice and easy. So we'll work our way down, cut those boards, and get the next one installed. <laughs> see we got it all on uh, this side 
the back of the garage, the front of the garage is done. The ridge from the, between the garage and the house is done, except for that little piece uh, that'll have to wait for the sheathing. Uh, the only side left we have is the house, but um, like I said earlier, Tina hasn't been feeling well, so I'm gonna wait until she feels better. She can help me with that other side over there. So uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna do sheathing, I believe. I just gotta cut off, um, cut down a couple of the posts, and then we can start laying sheathing. So um, looking forward to that, getting this thing dried in before the end of the month. That other uh, fascia board on the other side, soffit, it's not gonna take me, with Tina's help, it won't take more than a couple hours off the ladder. So, uh, but we got a lot of sheathing to do in the meantime. So walk around here to the front through all of our mud that we still have. So you can see it's done across the front and up that ridge right there. And then just this little ridge right here where it meets down into the roof is not done. So well, like I said, we'll get that when we do the sheathing. So um that's probably where we'll leave this video uh i'm probably not going to film the soffit on the other side we'll just jam that out real quick in the process of doing some sheathing so um yeah that's how you do that's how i do soffits and fascia uh and it came out pretty good looking at it now i don't know maybe i would have done 18 inch or two foot overhangs uh just because of the size of our buildings uh, so a couple people have been asking the garage. I think I've said this before the garage is 40 feet across the front and 32 deep and then the house is 64 across the front and 40 deep uh, So the house is like 25 60 square feet And the garage is oh, what is that? 1200 1280. So um, Yeah That's where we'll leave this video. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and we'll see you on the next video